What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and I just got a batch in from mycomicshop.com that finally completes the Iron Man run. In under a year, I managed to collect the entire Iron Man from the 60s run. That's pretty crazy for not even the main focus of my collection. It all started from just a 50 cent sale at my local comic book shop. I actually ended up getting about 70% of them just there, and the rest has just been filling in the cracks since. Fun fact, so you know, the entire Iron Man run is really just only over just 300 comics. I actually think it's one of the more doable, collectible runs. It, it ends with issue 330, oops, excuse me, it ends with issue 332 from this first volume, and it begins with issue one that I badly need to get into uh, top loader, actually. I will be rebagging and boarding all of this. But 70% of this was obtained at a 50 cent dollar bin, which was half off sale at my local comic book shop. And the rest has been filling in ever since. Just to give you an idea, Iron Man 332. 331, 330, 329, 328. And here's some of the ones I just got in from my comic book shop. You can always tell because you'll see like that up there. 327, 326, 325, 324, another one. Uh, let's skip a little bit here. Do, 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 do. 299, 298. I think these were all recently obtained from uh, my comic shop. That nice little stretch there. Oops, I ended up buying one that I already had. Yeah, there's a ton of duplicates in here. But I am very, very happy with this. He's not the most favorite Marvel character of mine, but I do love his comics. You know, I was brought up on this stuff. So, I mean, absolutely, man. 279, 278, 277, 276. This has been an absolute joy for me. Oh, by the way, I did just mention in a video... Where'd it go? Uh, that I was missing 282. Uh, apparently, I just had it. I have no memory of getting that book, but there it was. I hadn't updated my spreadsheet to actually include it. 261, 260, 259. Yeah, this has just been great, man. 249, 248, fresh from my comic shop. Now, what's special about this collection is... 90%, maybe even more, was all solely obtained in, uh, what am I trying to say, yard sales, flea markets, comic book shops, trades with friends, just that. It really was only maybe a little bit of laziness in the, the final end of trying to collect all this, where I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to go to uh, my comic book shop and see if they've got the ones I need. Because at that point, the ones I needed were the silly ones, like the 211, uh, you know, 210, the really simple ones. I'm talking like the non-key ones are all the ones that I was missing. 207, yeah, yeah, you just saw some duplicates there. There's definitely a lot of duplicates here. Let me actually, that long box is a little, a little crowded. Let me get that. Straightened out a little bit. Here, give me a moment. 127. Now, it's really cool when you get into the... Oop, excuse me. I think a little bit more. Let's just put that over there for now. Give this long box a little room to breathe. I always like to be able to actually be able to go through and kind of pick through them all. So 150. I actually sent my other copy of 150, which is a little bit nicer. I sent it out to CBCS, I believe. Yes. 149, 149, 148, 147, 146, 145, 144, 143, 142, 141, 140. See what I'm saying? This has just been a blast. All right, so let's keep it going. Um, hey, are, you guys might have remembered that video. Found that at a flea market. That was part of a $50 deal there, so that's pretty sweet. $127. let us keep it going. I really want to show you the under... Actually, there's a nice first Justin Hammer right there. Very cool. 
the under 100 stuff's really cool. Um, believe it or not, uh, what was it? About down to like, I want to say from like 190 to like, what was it? Like 80 or even like in the 70s of this run was all still from that 50 cent bin that started it all. I don't know if he just didn't quite check it in time or just wanted to get a lot of people there, but I got some wildly, wildly, wildly good stuff from that dollar bin and then 50 cent bin sale. Um, one of them was, let me find it here, First James Rhodes. I actually have a CBCS 9.8 of that. Message me if you're interested. I'm actually trying to move it, especially now that Armor Wars has been announced. I'm thinking that'll be a good time to do that. All right, so let's get to the 100s here. Let's start with 99. How about 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90. I thought we'd do kind of a proper countdown here. 88, 87. Yeah, these were all... 85, 84, these were all from the freaking 50 cent sale, guys. Absolutely crazy. And honestly, I probably would have gotten more, but there was another dude in there because the shop was cr was crowded. You know, it was a big sale. It got everyone's attention. There was another dude in there grabbing up Iron Man's. He got all like the 200s. So it ended up being the 200s were for me the hardest to obtain, believe it or not. And then one day... Some of the trades for the early ones came in from a buddy. Some of them came from uh, actually the same comic book shop owner, Greg from Phantasm Comics, got in a nice collection of Iron Mans. And bl believe me, those weren't <laughs> those weren't dollar bins. They definitely had to pay good money for those. Good money. Anything under sixty is definitely going to cost you. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is just you know casually first appearance of Thanos. I might look to upgrade it one day. This one's a little bit more in the mid range area, but uh, first appearance of Thanos, man. The next best key that you want under that is uh, fifty four. That one's actually pretty darn nice. And then we'll just keep it going down. Fifty three, fifty two, fifty one. 50, 49, 48, 47. Wait till you guys see. It's not ready, but wait till you see my Green Lantern collection video. That's like 10 years in the making. That's probably going to take like an hour to get through that entire video. It's going to be way even more epic than this. One day, I promise you, that video will be made. Now, do you see that little, uh, like, uh, kind of water damage up in the corner of these these i think it was 30 through 40 had some like water-based damage look you can see it there so those i actually got for a steal otherwise these would kind of go for like 50 a pop each time so i kind of lucked out on here because with this type of stuff i don't really care about condition i just wanted to get it in Ironically, some of my 100s, 200s, 300s are in impeccable condition. Wait till you see my number one. Oh, actually, you know what? I think it went down to 18 because check out that water damage on that right-hand corner. So I was getting good deals all the way into the teens, looks like. 17, 16, 15. Sorry, I found a couple of comics that were in the wrong spot. So let's go. Where were we? Like 20? Yeah, 22, 21, 20... 19, 18, 17, and if you actually look, there's a little bit of water damage even down into the teens. So it looks like I was able to get really good deals on these. I, I thought it went only down to like the 30s or 20s. I guess I forgot it went to the teens. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, so kind of like that cover. Uh, two, and are you ready for it? Random annual. No, number one, which again, I really need to get that thing in a top loader. I actually think this thing is pretty nice too. Uh, this was from the comic book shop, same place with the uh, fifty cent deals. This was very expensive because it was. Uh, I actually had to talk him out 
of he wanted to get it uh, sent into CGC, and I kind of smooth talked him, you know, into selling it to me raw. Um, this was probably the most expensive book. This book alone, honestly, was probably the entire cost of the rest of this. Because remember, I got all those crazy deals. Really happy about this book. Uh, to answer your question, because I know some people are going to ask, no, I am not going to submit any of these to CBCS. I am keeping this collection raw. Frankly, now that I've collected the full thing, I might even sell it and move on to the next best thing. Or maybe sell it and put it all towards my Green Lantern collection. Let me take a second and put this book back. Just goes to show you what some dedication, getting that foot to the pavement, getting in your car, going to yard sales, going to flea markets will do for this hobby, guys. I was able to get the entire Iron Man run all the way from issue 1 to 332 in a about nine to ten months and that's actually not even actively looking that hard right time right place can do some wonders for you my friends you don't have to be a youtuber you don't have to be special in any way no special attention all you gotta do is be persistent have a goal and you can get it now I'm the proud owner of an entire run of Iron Man. Number six, all the way to the last issue of the run. Anyway, guys, sorry, it's a little hot standing next to that lamp there, but I couldn't be happier. Um, this has taught me so many wonderful lessons, and uh, let me know in the comments, what's the next collection that you think I should be going for? Iron Man check, Green Lantern check. What am I doing next? As always, my friends, keep on hunting. Also, I thought we'd do a quick message from our sponsor, Dynamite Comics, and they've got a Kickstarter with the Boglins, and they're actually doing the first trading cards ever. So I'll include a link here for you to get your copy if you're interested, the all-new trading card collectible series for the 35th anniversary of Boglins. Got a lot of cool stuff coming in this deck. I think the pledge was only supposed to meet 2,000. It's already at 4,000. What do you say? We get it to like 10. Let's keep it going. Dynamite's always doing cool Kickstarters to help legendary artists. So check this out. Link will be attached.